Hello, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my second weekly vlog of this year. How exciting. Um, it's Monday, it's halfway through the day. I'm sat down on my lunch break with some toast and some tea and I am going to get cracking with some reading. I'm going to start the week strong and I'm going to read some of Lola Ulafemi's Fem Feminism Interrupted. So I am... Um just getting my work computer ready for the day it's not nine o'clock yet thank goodness um because i have a wild ride to tell you about a lot to catch you up on basically it is wednesday and if only you think oh lizzie you look really tired um that's because i fucking am i'm shattered i didn't go to sleep until like quarter past four last night I didn't sleep I was really struggling to sleep and I think it's because I had a little bit too much caffeine yesterday but it was quite extreme the lack of sleep normally if I can't sleep I'll go to sleep by 2am by 2am I was still wide awake um I tried like all different things obviously I tried reading um and I read a whole book but we got we got to go back because yesterday morning, so Tuesday morning, picture Lizzie wakes up a little bit early before work. She's like chilling. She's living her best life in bed, and then she finishes Feminism Interrupted by Lola Ulafemi, um, which I gave like a three point seven five out of four stars. I thought that um, it was really broad and it covered all different subjects but that is kind of what it's supposed to be very introductory um there's so much more that it like it touched on so many things that made me want to it read up on and like, i've made some notes and that's really good um and i thought it was really interesting um so i read that and i was really gonna come on and talk to you about it when i had the chance basically um which i didn't and then uh, in the evening, I sat down and I was reading uh, Get a Life Clay Brown by Tali Hibbert and I was loving it. Um, I think I got to page like 70, page 84 at the bed. Um, and I was really enjoying it. Um, thought, oh my god, I'm going to be obsessed with this. Um, like, it's really interesting. There were some quotes that I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I didn't have a chance because. Um, I just didn't have a chance at the time. That was that. And then I went to bed and I didn't feel like too sleepy. Um, and I hadn't updated you guys on anything. And I remembered that um, her minor from Minor Reads um, was talking about. Um, yeah, I saw this, this book series, this romance book series on booktube um called the wicked king the wicked wicked king or something i'll put the title on the screen um and basically i just it was just a romance like a like a it had like a trashy cover kind of romance um so not one i'd normally pick up because of the trash cover and the trash cover bias which is something that since reading this i think i might talk about started reading this book because I couldn't sleep and I kept putting it down and trying to go back to sleep and being wide awake and basically I ended up finishing this whole book and I just realised I got to go to work and then I'll be able to tell you about it but I will I will come back to tell you about this book but I finished the whole thing last night so I read two books since I last saw you this is going to turn into a romance reading vlog I can just feel it I enjoyed it. It was about three stars. I'll tell you more later. It is the next day now. It is Thursday. I didn't really talk to you yesterday like I wanted to because I still felt really tired and just like ugh, after not getting that much sleep. So I literally just worked and then read all evening. That was literally it. And I basically binge read the next book in the series, which was called ruthless night which is the one that i heard about on um my own channel and i am obsessed well 
and this is the thing, right, let's let's settle in and let's talk to you properly about these books. I'm going to sit down in my chair because I've still got like 10 15 minutes before I'm supposed to start work so I can sit down and chat to you. So obviously, I know that these books aren't my usual type of book, but so I was reading Go Brown and then I heard about these on the YouTube video and I um, basically just wanted to try them, try something different um, and I'm glad I did um, because basically it follows a series of um, like 18 year olds in a school in America so they're like seniors, is that what they are in America? Seniors I think? Um, and they basically go, there's, um, I'm trying to explain, it's set in this like private high school and it follows some seniors um, and then they are basically, one of them was best friends with like someone and their family. They were forced to move away and then they came back um they hadn't spoken to their best friend um then when they come back like when they're like adults because they're 18 now um he basically hates her is the most popular boy in school type situation it's weird because it's got school vibes but they don't act like children at all it's i thought it was going to be college and i find that a little bit weird so it's not so much it's a little bit it, it's got slightly different like lens for me now now i feel like a bit like oh god your kids doing this but i think if i was a bit younger i mean i'm i'm not that much not that much older you could you'd think i was an 18 year old looking at my face um but i'm not um well, you probably think i was a 12 year old um no but i think that aspect of it was a little bit weird um but uh they're very they're called high school bully romances um so they're very they're very drama filled and i liked that because i like um trash tv reality tv i like things like that a lot so um i really liked um that aspect of how there's always some crazy drama going on he's hating her and that's basically um that's basically it like he's like bullying her and she's like she's really aggressive she's like super super aggressive which i kind of liked um because in books i used to read that were similar to this when i was a bit younger i always used to think oh god i wish they would just tell them to fuck off or like be really aggressive back because you don't see that very often and i i quite liked it um it was interesting and i mean i've been read it in like 24 hours and i stayed up really late well I said I stayed up late reading it, I couldn't sleep and then I ended up, you know, I got sucked in. Um, I definitely wouldn't give them like a super high rating or anything. Um, they were good I like, in terms of fun time pass type books. Um, any books that I've read like this, um, the writing was, you know, better than some that I have read. Um, not like amazing, but there were a few mistakes. And then I read the second one. And the second one is about um, the be brother and the best friend. And this is the one that I saw on the YouTube video, um, which I'll link down below if I can remember. Um, and basically, um, um, Sawyer, um, the main character in the second one, has like... Um, issues around her weight and um it could be triggering in that sense for some people um as well as some of the dark shit that goes on um but this one i really liked this one was really sweet um and it sort of took that trope from the first one and kind of flipped it it was a little bit different it's really sweet it's a little bit mm, her angst sort of stuff god I, if i was a teenager reading these i would have been these would have been like, the best things i've ever read but I did enjoy reading them and I'm going to continue the series probably this week because I'm sort of in like a romance headspace now that I've got sucked into this. 
Chloe Brown really started it. I haven't picked it up yet since, um, but I really want to dedicate the time to Chloe Brown because I know Chloe Brown has like a lot of different layers. Um, and I've started the third one, which is really different. And the third book in the series is called Something Princess. So it's about the younger sister of the th of the three siblings um, that are focused on throughout the series. Um, and this sister is hit historically in the books as uh, like a total bitch um a princess bitch and in this book she wakes up with amnesia she can't remember any anything um so that's really interesting it's completely different to the other one so i'm just like invested in the characters like loki um totally wouldn't recommend to just anyone but if you're if you're into romance and or like you feel like this is something you would have loved as a teen and like now you were just thinking mm, yeah a bit fun it is a bit fun um i'm pretty sure um <laughs> some of it's kind of cute as well some of the stuff that's in there um and i just thought it was really fun and really it's quite like dark um and it's just like it's a bit like Hollyoaks later watching if you're from the UK and you watched Hollyoaks and like if you're a similar age to me and you ever saw Hollyoaks later it's a bit like that or a bit older and potentially a bit younger but I was watching Hollyoaks later when I was not old enough um but it was like the most salacious thing ever um but yeah they're a little bit like dark a little bit no they're just they're they're good they're interesting and i'm glad i read them but so far across the three books that i've read i'm only about halfway through the third one um yeah i um definitely enjoyed them and i've been talking for nearly 10 minutes about these books but i just thought that i would i loved if i was feeling more myself i'd have loved to like interject into eight different points in the book because i like doing those sorts of vlogs where i talk about the books halfway through the books more like oh and this has just happened and this is how I feel but um, because that would have been perfect for this type of book because I could have talked to you about the creepy things as we talked about the funny, the drama, everything but I just wasn't feeling myself but I thought I'd tell you this is what I have been reading obviously I know that this isn't everyone's cup of tea um, and it hasn't historically been my cup of tea in the last couple of years but I do know what I'm having a bit of fun with it and I think I'm going to try some different romances this week Um, I've got a fancy romance uh, from Blood and Ash or you know one of them titles um on my audible so i might pick that up now and then see how i get on with that because that'd be really fun to hello it's the evening now and i'm just set up in bed just chilling for the evening and i think i'm going to edit my 2021 goals video try and get it uploaded but also i'm going to try and make a thumbnail I've been obsessed with thumbnails ever since watching books and lala's video about how she did a thumbnail experiment in um 2020 and just some of the thumbnails were so cool and since then i've been really noticing other people's thumbnails so um i'm going to try to do something cool today um and see what i can do try and do some experiments and try and do some really cool thumbnails based on that and try and look for some inspiration it might take me a little bit longer and i may occasionally revert back to a standard um one but i think it'd be really cool to try i'm also eating cake and drinking tea uh so i'm eating again uh i'm having toast <laughs> uh it's lunch time and i've just got the hour to mute myself um usually me and my boyfriend will watch um some of our show in this time but he is doing uni work and his quality is atrocious i'm sorry um but i thought i'd just let you know that i'm 62 percent of the way through wicked princess and it's not uh, there's not enough time for what i want to happen happen so uh, i'm not but not very happy about it uh, there's a character that's just completely fallen off the face of the fucking earth from the first two books i'm a bit upset about that but i'm still enjoying the trashy style read and i definitely think that um I want to make more time for these types of books in my reading. I think I might do a video about it. Um, and because they're just so fun and so easily easily consumed. And I think I've been a bit of a snob in the past about romance books. Even though kind of not a, like a 
a secret snob. Yeah. But I'll talk a bit more about that. But I'm going to eat my toast and play some of my game. And then when my lives run out, I'll read. Then I'll read a couple of chapters, play some more of my game. That's how I like to do things. Because I'm currently obsessed with a stupid Disney swapping gems game. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah. So I will speak to you soon. Hello, it is Sunday now and I actually haven't spoken to you in a few days. I think I've shown you some video clips but I can't remember where I was when I last spoke to you. But last night I finished the fourth book in the I think it's called Royal Hearts um series. Um number four Breaking Kingdom I finished last night, which was great, so that's all four of those books read. Uh, I finished Feminism Interrupted on Monday, I think. Um, so that's really good. I feel quite pleased with that this week, even though I've gone completely off TBR. But I never uploaded a TBR, so nobody knows what my TBR is, except me. <laughs> um, I might start um, my vlog tomorrow with a mini TBR in it, so that um, I've got that in my head, even though I don't know what date that will be going on so it doesn't really matter um but i am just chilling in for the evening i've done some i did some walks and i played some board games and it's been a really nice day actually um but i am going to chill now i've got a gin and i'm going to just chill in bed and read as much of clay brown as i can because i am really enjoying that i did read a little bit more of that the other day but I just got sucked into the other romance books. This one, but I'm kind of enjoying like sitting with it in between. So I don't think I'll finish it tonight. I'll probably have to carry it over into the next vlog. But I'll let you know when I wrap up. Oh, and I started um, uh, something, Ash and Blood, Jennifer Armantrout, I think the book's called. I started that on audio. I'll tell you more about it in the wrap up of the week, but um, it's just a fancy romance that I know because I was feeling the fancy vibes, the romance vibes this week. I had to pick it up. I'm only into chapter two though, so. So it's Monday now, and I think it's about time that I wrap up this vlog. And I just thought I would let you know what I've read for the week and everything like that. So basically, I read um, up to page 190 on Get a Life Clay Brown um, by Talia Hibbert um, so I'm really enjoying that um, I really like the romance I really like the side sort of what else is going on in the series things like that and also I read the first two chapters of From Blood and Ash by Jennifer Armantrout which I mentioned in my last clip but just to say that um, I've barely even got into it but it's about a um, woman it's a fantasy romance about a woman who lives like in the palace like she's like um She's like part of the gentry and um, I believe she is supposed to be pure and I think she sneaks away and has a little romantic encounter in a club or the equivalent of a club and that's all I know so far. That's it. I'll let you know next week but this has been a week of romance for me in terms of reading. I finished five books in total, the four from the um, Royal Hearts Trilogy Quartet. Um, and feminism interrupted so yeah with quite a few books and obviously made really great progress with get love clay brown really pleased with how much of this i've read um and this is i'm going to try and finish this today so yeah but that is for another vlog and i will speak to you soon thank you so much for watching this video and i will talk to you soon bye